Hey, what's up, guys? Bueller here. I just wanted to go over a little bit of what SPY and a little bit of some other stocks are doing in the market right now. <clears throat> I started seeing a lot of uh, like lowering volume uh, on a lot of stocks that happen to be pushing, and I think this is just a slight reaction to the huge sell-off. I mean, we dropped over twenty dollars in SPY last night. <clears throat> so at open, a lot of our puts did really good for the chats. So that was good that everyone swung. Um, well, not everyone, but we swung a light. Less risk, more reward. So that was a good play. <clears throat> I just wanted to point out a bunch of little patterns I'm seeing on SPY. Uh, I have more to add to this too. This isn't even all of it. But I got a lower high here. So you can see the trend is getting weaker. It's a good reversal here. I had a slight head and shoulders. I didn't want to call it that though because it was a little ascending kind of. <clears throat> I had some squeezes here. And then I happened to see the volume was there, so... I think it was beyond. I'm trying to remember what stock it was. Was it? No. I'll just go back to spy. <clears throat> These were the levels we were setting in chat, though. But I wanted to get a good video out because uh, there's so many patterns here. So I can clear this. We could find more. Let's find our levels again. <clears throat> Let's do some pre-market levels first. Then we'll do some some levels from today. You want to choose points of interest. You want to see points where support and resistance were both uh, utilized. <clears throat> so you see here, this was sort of a good resistance here. This is a pre-market level. But this is a good resistance here. Then it finally broke above it. See, that's a point of interest. You had one, two, th about three fails, and then you finally had a fourth push up. So the fourth test is where it finally decided to go back up. And then here you had one break. Then you found support, so that's another good point of interest. So support to resistance. I mean, sorry, resistance to support. That's, that's very good. That makes it even stronger. Here you had resistance, resistance, resistance. So that shows you sellers are taking that back over. So that'd be a lower high from here. And then you got another lower high right here happening right now. I have time and sales on right now. Oh, and if you use time and sales, click this. If you're watching Spy or... You know, whatever crazy stocks you like to watch, change it to this setting. Show greater than or equal to 1K. <clears throat> my friend showed me that, Gary. Uh, my friend showed me that. And uh, it's been very useful. Helps you see the bigger numbers. You don't get all this. It's, it's impossible. It's not impossible. It's just very hard. So change that setting if you do watch time and sales. It's just orders already executed. So I honestly expect this to die off since it's about lunchtime for a little while, uh, volume-wise. So it'll probably maintain this little slow consolidation here. But I expect a huge, huge drop before end of day. That's how I see today ending. Um, worst case, we just end in a range, probably between these two lines, actually. But uh, it'd be cool to see it go back down here. I think a lot of people in my chat still have a bunch of puts. <clears throat> let's go look at uh apple or actually apple's probably identical yeah let's look at tesla mm. for once almost identical got a bit of a squeeze here <clears throat> a slight symmetrical triangle i guess it doesn't really matter if you don't know the names in my opinion as long as you know that you need to be setting levels above and below and playing the squeeze as long as you can identify I'd be setting levels like that on that one. That's an aggressive break above, but out of that squeeze, that'd be really awesome. It'll probably break out, then retest this level, and then go down, is my opinion. But we'll see. Pretty bearish on a lot of this. I mean, look at the volume on everything. Volume is so important. Got a kind of consolidation there, but for the most part, oops, for the most part, it's a downtrend, though. It died off here, but that was a lot of uncertainty. Kind of right now, but we're getting close to lunch hour. I mean, pretty much is lunch hour. Power hour, though, the last hour of the market. It's gonna be a. Uh, it's gonna be where a lot of the volatility kicks in. A lot of where, a lot of the big movers are gonna be going. A lot of the patient plays. Those are, those are the ones that pay. Did a video follow as well. Yeah, everything's kind of doing the same thing. I feel like I'm looking at the same chart almost. Alright, well, I think that's all for this video. I just wanted to go over some good midday stuff that was happening today. A lot of weird stuff going on, but 
it's a crazy market a lot of opportunities to make money definitely be on the lookout for my list of stocks to invest in um i want to do a video on that too because here in a few months there's going to be a lot of stocks going back up and you don't you don't want to end up like all these other people who didn't get in on these stocks you want to get in them now now and when everything starts to dip more because we still got some more fear mongering going on but yeah like comment subscribe on the video and i'll see you on the next one